And to quote our police specialist, Dennis Sign, who has a way with words, he called that a bizarre pursuit last night and said as it kept going, it got crazier and crazier. It all started about 8 o'clock in La Habra. How crazy was that last night? It was, it was dangerous on the uh, suspect's part, absolutely. Carlos Perez is with the La Habra Police Department. La Habra, that's where this high-octane pursuit started with an attempted traffic stop of what Perez says was a stolen truck. It was intense. The uh, suspect rammed an officer's vehicle. The suspect actually rammed more than one in her effort to get away. Perez identifying her as 26-year-old Nequaza Green from Los Angeles. The danger level ratchets up several notches. Around of the vehicle and the attempt to stop it, that wasn't enough. The fact that she's ramming vehicles, absolutely dangerous. The fact that she's running on the highway, extremely dangerous. She pulls away, rams through a fence, drops down onto an embankment, and then she's on the 91 freeway, going the wrong way. She stops. She runs across the freeway lane by lane until she gets to the other side, goes into a Denny's. At that point, we're told police go inside with a canine. The suspect is arrested. At what point should an officer pull back before it becomes what we saw last night? Obviously, the, the uh, suspect was ramming vehicles. Who's to say that she wasn't going to ram other civilians on the roadway, causing a hazard for them? So it was imperative that we made sure we stopped her at whatever cost. Corona police see the suspect going into the Denny's. They run in there, too. We used our, one of our Corona Police canines to search the rest of the building. Our canine alerted on an office door in the back of the restaurant. Multiple announcements were given for the suspect to surrender. Those were all ignored. Uh, we forced the door open, gave several more announcements, uh, and a warning that we were going to use a police dog if they did not uh, surrender. Ultimately, they did not surrender. We sent our police canine into the room. Our police canine apprehended the suspect driver and then she was safely taken into custody immediately thereafter the suspect was booked on assault with a deadly weapon possession of stolen property felony evading and a parole violation we couldn't get too much information on that yet and she has a bit of an injury to her arm from that arrest with the dog